So we just put a cup of cream into our seven cups of milk. We're gonna bring that to 190 degrees. And that's our start on making ricotta cheese on 20 acre farms. We have two tablespoons of lemon juice and three tablespoons of white vinegar. And we're gonna put half of that into our uh, milk and cream mix right here. All right. Here we have one tablespoon of kosher salt. Uh, and we're gonna put that in here. And we're gonna keep stirring. And uh, at this point, we're, we're gonna start to be able to see it curdle a little bit, that milk curdle. At this point, we're just gonna cover this pot and we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes. Hello. Hello. Okay, so our 20 minutes is up. Uh, now we can take take your lid off here. <coughs> and uh, you can see that the milk has separated, so we're in good shape here. Next, we're gonna add the remainder. Remember, we only put half of our lemon juice and white vinegar in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the remainder of that into our pot here. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and stir that. Now at this point, we want to have you're gonna have your, your strainer and cheesecloth. You're gonna dampen your cheesecloth, put it in your strainer. Um, we like to keep anything that uh, gets strained out and give that to our chickens. Uh, so at this point, we're, we're gonna go ahead and take this over and strain, strain this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and strain our milk here into the cheesecloth. Now, our ricotta cheese, we plan on using it for a lasagna recipe that we're gonna make. And so, we're gonna want that ricotta cheese to be more firm so it doesn't make our lasagna soupy. Um, and and if that'll help our lasagna to set up well and be a, be a nice texture that we like. So we're gonna let this sit in here for, until it gets to that consistency that we, that we like for that particular recipe. The longer you're gonna let that sit in your strainer, in the cheesecloth, the consistency is going to be more dense and the, you know, if you don't do it very long, it's gonna be pretty runny. So you just, just go ahead and check that, however, and however much you want strained out, it'll be a, a firmer consistency and the less you strain out, uh, it won't be so firm. The ricotta cheese is now at the consistency that we wanna use for a lasagna. Um, one thing I did want to mention was when we were heating up that milk, we heat, it, it heated up too quickly. And so you don't want to just put it on high and get that as hot as you can and then get that milk as hot uh, to the, to the um, temperature that it needs to be right as fast as you can. You want to heat it up slower because what we found was is our ricotta cheese has a little bit of brown spots in it because uh, some of the milk kind of burned or whatever to the bottom of that of that pan. Uh, so if you want that perfectly white ricotta cheese, you're not going to want to do that. But ours looks really, really good and we're just going to use it and I don't think it's going to, uh, it's not going to do anything to the taste wise of this cheese. So now we're going to put uh, our cheese, you can see it here, and we're just going to kind of spread it in our lasagna and uh, that's kind of you know you can use ricotta cheese on a lot of different things in a lot of different recipes and it's just a really great easy easy recipe here to use and it just adds a lot of flavor Here we have the finished product, uh, our lasagna for for this Saturday lunch, and that's just going to be really good. So thanks for joining us today on 20 Acre Farms, and I hope uh, that you try this recipe out. 
and that you enjoyed as much as we will. All right, what do you think of it, Zoe? Good.